Every Thanksgiving, millions of Americans take pumpkins and turn them into pumpkin pie. But a select few gather in Delaware and launch pumpkins as far as they can. With us, we have Tori, Carrie, and Grant to talk about a special on the Science Channel called Pumpkin Chunkin. So tell me, what exactly is pumpkin chunkin and where does that term come from? Well, it has become a Thanksgiving tradition for us. And at Science Channel, every Thanksgiving at 8 p.m., we air this event, which is basically a competition for backyard engineers from all over the country, and in fact, internationally, to show up and launch a pumpkin by any means they can. That is mechanical means like catapults, centrifugal machines, or air cannons. Yeah, there's no gunpowder. Yes, <laughs> no rockets. And it just, it was a, a group of these guys who were like, let's see who can throw a pumpkin farthest. So they just started building these catapults and these trebuchets at, you know, in their backyards, and then just took them out to the field. And then over the years, these things have just gotten bigger and bigger. And now they're getting to the point where they're throwing pumpkins almost uh, an entire mile. They, they launch pumpkins further than they ever have before. Each category, uh, like the centrifugal machines, have, have this sort of long end mark that they're all shooting for. And this year, we've broken world records in every category. Yeah, it was a it was a really great tailwind on the first day. Very exciting. But it's really dangerous. I mean, you're standing next to these machines and there's so much tension because these things are you know, they have springs, they have ropes, they have whatever they're using to to launch their pumpkins. And sometimes these things break. In fact, last year I was standing next to this one and the arm snapped as it was pulling back and it splintered everywhere. So it's it's kind of a dangerous sport. I was going to ask you about that. Uh, what's the? Uh, how many mishaps have there been? Have you had any close calls, or do any of these people have oh, horror yeah. stories? Oh I've I've almost been on? hit. Yeah, because um, <laughs> you know, with with certain types of machines like trebuchets and catapults, or torsion, or torsion, the pumpkins don't always go downrange as intended. Sometimes they go straight up into the air. Now there's a safety perimeter for the audience, but if you're with net. the chunkers, the safety. Just yeah. to be clear, the the safety it's a net. It, yeah, it's, but but we keep the audience. <laughs> they keep the audience back away from the the chunkers. But I mean, if you're on in the pits on the line there, I you know my producer had to jump on me to to prevent me from getting hit by a pumpkin. And you think, well, it's just a pumpkin, but you know if it's a hundred feet in the air and dropping rapidly, and it's about ten pounds. That could really cause some damage. I mean, if if you can just feel how big these machines are, we're talking like battle-ready, building size machines that they've thrown almost a million dollars into. Like they are crazy. Yeah. Wow. As and much, it, and as, it's as, a, much a, as a million dollars. Like, and the best part about it, it's this huge event that is it's a giant charity. They all the money they raise, they they give it to Children's Hospital and uh, you know a number of other charities. So it's like this great benefit. So it's not just you know getting out there it's you know it's having fun but also helping a lot of people and the entire thing is just highlighting having fun with science i mean it's backyard engineers it's innovation it's it's getting families and kids all involved together to see how they can work together to create these feats of physics and engineering so it's a really cool event yeah. and what's the best way to launch a pumpkin or is there some debate about that well oh there's all kinds of debate yeah. about the best way because you know, it's not just launching the pumpkin there's also the wind the type of pumpkin. I mean, certain chunkers have pumpkins that they will not fire any other type. They believe that that's the perfect kind. There's and also style points. You know, mm. some people like their catapults. Some people like things that are human powered. Some people like torsion. Traditionally, the air cannons have had the longest range. But, you know, certain other categories, I think, are, are pushing the limits as well. But the thing is, these machines have so much power that, you know, the, the pumpkin is not designed to withstand these forces. So basically when it, you know, when they throw them, a lot of times the pumpkins will explode and they call it a pumpkin pie. And so like that's the, you know, chunkers worst nightmares. They, they launch their pumpkin and all they see is just chunks of pumpkin flying into the air. Cause yeah, cause it doesn't count towards your score. The pumpkin has to remain whole all the way out of the machine and until it hits the ground. Uh, and this it, is hilarious. Yeah. This is a hilarious event. Yeah. You have to watch it. And the crazy thing is there's these guys out there called spotters who are guys on these ATVs basically chasing after. I mean, all of us are like, stay away, you know, get out of the line of fire of this pumpkin. <laughs> these guys are driving towards it as fast as they can to find out where the pumpkin, you know, lands. So these guys are the craziest guys out there. Has a pumpkin ever hit one of these people or anything else? I know in the promo for the show, you have a pumpkin c going through a house. Yeah. Does that ever happen? That didn't actually happen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that He's out in a cornfield sure. in Delaware. It's very far away from people. <laughs> But yeah, there was, um, they went in the parking lot, I think. Yeah, there's some close calls, but nobody's yeah. ever no actually been taken out by yeah. a pumpkin. 
What's the reward for being the best pumpkin chunker? Bragging rights. <laughs> yeah. And you get a trophy. Yeah, you get this giant carved log yeah. trophy of this guy but holding a pumpkin. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> there's no prize money for this. Again, everything goes to charity. And so the money that these guys put into the machines, that's all their money. Maybe they have a few sponsors, but they don't get a giant, you know, purse for this. It's mostly the reward yeah. of smack talking. Yeah, and yeah. Being, they do being talk the a lot of trash when they win. <laughs> well, yeah, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks and, for having uh, us. I look forward to seeing the pumpkins being flung. You can check out the show at 8 p.m. on Thanksgiving on the Science Channel. <laughs>